Hello, this is Mike Poor. Today is July 30th, and I wanted to uh, reach out to all of you today. We had promised to follow up on our Ready for Learn plan for LRSD, and that document will go out this afternoon. Before I jump into the document and all the importance of it related to things that will get us ready for the start of the school year, I do want to share just a couple of things. Today, tomorrow are the final two days for folks to register who might be interested in running for the Little Rock School District Board of Education. We have nine seats that will be open and you can find the maps on our website to understand exactly where you live in relationship to a board zone. And we hope that many of you are giving consideration, but you do need to get down to the county to be able to register to become a candidate and you do have to have 25 signatures in order to make that ballot and that all has to be done this week. So just a quick reminder about that. Second thing, a momentous week for the Little Rock School District in that we opened up a grand opening with Southwest High School in Little Rock. And that's uh, an accomplishment that I'm very, very proud of because I know that as soon as I came in this community, people asked, when are you gonna build a school south of the interstate? And boy, did we build a school. Southwest Little Rock High School has everything. And we ask that you go onto our website and see what that grand opening looks like. You'll actually get a virtual tour from our students. And our students, they participated in the grand opening with some wonderful speeches as did community members. And of course, our mayor was there. Uh, and we actually even had President Clinton and Governor Hutchinson give tribute to our new school. And we're very, very proud of it. So please go check that out when you have a chance and look at it. We also will start to play that on LRSD TV of what that grand opening looked like. Today, we are releasing the LRSD Ready for Learn plan. We have really reached out to all of you. We so appreciate all the feedback and input that you've all provided us in terms of giving us information of whether it's in questions or in trying to uh, provide uh, guidance even in terms of what we might need to do and everything from safety measures to mental health supports to educational delivery. I'm very proud of our plan. It's extremely comprehensive. But I also will tell you that someone is gonna find fault with it no matter what we do with that. And we understand that because when you're dealing with a document that is so complex and a delivery that's so important, there are gonna be people that don't necessarily agree with it. Basically, it still holds true that we have two options for everyone to choose from. One is a traditional in-school setting, second is a virtual option, and parents still have the choice to make a decision on those options all the way to August 7th. Right now, we're well over 13,000 students that have registered to say here's their education of choice, the platform they'd like to receive education this fall. We need you all that have not participated to please get on the website and share what option you would most prefer. We also received information from the state yesterday that changed our plan, and that could happen even in the coming weeks. The state uh, shared that we would not be able to do a virtual delivery for pre-K. I wish that that was something different, <laughs> to be honest with you, but that is a decision that was made at the state level, and I believe it ties in to a federal funding element. So it was complex, and it is what it is. We also know that if this district ever had to go to an all virtual setting, that we would then be able to enable and enact a virtual pre-K delivery, maybe on down the line. As you review the plan, you know, please don't hesitate to reach out if you do have questions, but please do look at it and please see that there is a, a, an area in the document that it even asked for the support that we are gonna need from you as parents. One other final comment that I would deliver to you is that we've had a lot of our PTAs uh, reach out and say, you know, what can we do? I want everyone to understand that this district has invested heavily in protective equipment for our students and our staff. 3.5 million masks have been ordered. We have ordered product for sanitiz sanitization, not only for the immediate time when students are moving through the school, there are hand sanitizer stations everywhere. We also bought uh, product to make sure that our custodians are equipped and ready to clean. 
We've even bought foggers, which before we were using a, a contracted service. Now we actually have a machine that can be used in each building just so that we can do a very thorough job of cleaning whenever we need to. We have purchased uh, items that will uh, assist us with food and we are doing everything in our power to make sure that we're ready to go. But we still can use extra help and buildings have the option through their PTAs maybe to buy additional masks. But please know that this district has purchased the equipment necessary for us to start the school year and we feel like we're in a good place to get that that equipment and product in. Tied with that, we've also bought additional laptops. We've also bought additional laptops for every one of our teachers. And we are working with community partners on a broadband solution that we hope will be available and understandable in just a week or two. So we're not done with announcements, but you now have a structured plan that's in front of you and that you can look at and refer back to. And it might evolve based on the Department of Health guidelines or from the Department of Education. We want to thank everyone again for your participation, your willingness to support us and help us, whether it's in surveys or focus groups. We've had a tremendous amount of input from a lot of different community members, students, staff, and parents. Thank you for your help, and we have work yet to be done over the next month. Please know that for parents, you actually will get to start to have training opportunities, whether that's in the the visual, uh, the virtual delivery, excuse me, from Schoology, uh, so that you can better understand how you can support your parent, support your students in an online environment, or social emotional learning that can happen for all of us to better support the emotional needs of our students during this challenging time. All those training opportunities sh should be out by next week that you can participate in. And we are excited about that opportunity. Thank you for your attention to this video today. Please uh, take a look at LRSD's Ready for Learn plan when you have the opportunity later today or over the course of the weekend. Thank you so much.